Nobody likes long intros, so let's cut to the chase and let's learn some interesting facts about All Elite Wrestling Scorpio Sky. Number 10. His Mixed Martial Arts Past Many professional wrestlers have an MMA background such as Brock Lesnar, Jake Hager, Shayna Bossler, and today's star, Scorpio Sky. Sky was competing at welterweight, which is crazy to think about, cause 170 is a long way from his current weight of 208 pounds. He has fought four times. He has won three of his fights and has lost one of them. His only loss was a decision, but his three wins were via finish, two knockouts and one armbar, so make sure you don't get on his bad side. Sky has also competed and won a four-man Muay Thai kickboxing tournament. He hasn't fought since 2015, but I still wouldn't want to get into a shoot fight with him. Number 9. Real Name, Age, Height and More Scorpio Sky's real name is Skylar Andrews, he's 5 feet 10 inches tall, or 178 centimeters for my European brothers. He debuted in 2002, so we're talking about a 20-year veteran here. He was born in 1983, which means he's 39 years old. That's very impressive taking into account the amazing shape that he's in. It seems like Sky ages like fine wine. Speaking of wine, here's an extra little fact. Scorpio's favorite beverage is wine. I would love to hang out with him and Frankie Kazarian, I bet these guys know how to have a good time. Number 8. His favorite NBA team. Pretty much everyone knows that Sky was a part of SCU. For those that don't know what the acronym stands for, it's SoCal, meaning Southern California, uncensored. And this wasn't just a gimmick, Sky's indeed from Southern California, Los Angeles to be exact. So by now your mind has limited the options of his favorite team. Is it the Clippers or the Lakers? Those of you who are avid All Elite and BTE viewers, may remember his Los Angeles Lakers appearances. Sky even paid tribute to Kobe Bryant when the legend left us. Number 7. His WWE Past Pretty much every major wrestler has some ties to WWE. Whether that's working a dark match, appearing on NXT, or even as a quote-unquote local competitor. So, has Sky ever worked for WWE? The answer is yes. Do you remember the whole Team Hell No Anger management angle? No? Let Sky explain. The holiday season, you know, I can't help but feel a little bit emotional. I've got some of my best friends of my entire life here. Amen. 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 And, and, love you, buddy. You know, 2018 was the best year of my career. Mind you. The you best. Know, I see you. You know, <laughs> that's, that's you. right. I see you. And uh, uh, it's it, the biggest contributing factor was you guys. And I appreciate it. Uh, everything you've done, all the going up and down the roads, the good times we had. And I, I never forgot where I came from, though. You know, now I'm at a very high point in my career. It's going great, but it, it wasn't even that long ago I was an extra mm. in an anger management skit with Daniel Bryan and Kane. Sky made another appearance for WWE at SummerSlam 2013, posing as a firefighter during the Ring of Fire match between Kane and Bray Wyatt. Number 6. The Men That Inspired Him Scorpio Sky has been a wrestling fan pretty much his whole life. He grew up watching WWF and WCW, and Bret Hart became his favorite. Bret was a huge inspiration for him and was also the one who made him fall in love with technical wrestling. Sky has also stated that as he got older and the business changed, he really became fond of Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. In addition to Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, and Kurt Angle, Scorpio has also drawn inspiration from boxers, something that maybe explains his passion for martial arts. Muhammad Ali and Floyd Money Mayweather were his two favorites. Number 5. He almost didn't become a wrestler. After graduating from high school, Scorpio Sky considered enlisting in the United States Army but instead opted to go to college. He dropped out in his freshman year and started training to become a pro wrestler. High risk, high reward decision by Sky that ultimately paid off. A good reminder to never give up on your dreams. Number 4. Wrestling is in their DNA. Many wrestlers are related to each other. Fathers and sons, brothers, cousins. The Rhodes family, the Hardys, the Bloodline, the Young Bucks and apparently Scorpio Sky and Brandy Rhodes. Yes it's true, Sky and Brandy are cousins. It has never been brought up on TV if I can recall correctly, which is a shame because they could have used it somewhere. 
maybe during the short feud between Paige Van Zandt and Brandy, since Scorpio Sky and Paige Van Zandt are American top team stablemates. Anyway, Brandy and her husband are gone now, so it will probably never happen. Number 3. The best town he's ever been in. Sky had worked for multiple companies and has traveled all over the world as a result of that. Do you remember the infamous SCU catchphrase, this is the worst town I've ever been in? Well, what's Sky's favorite town or country then? Scorpio loves the UK, despite what he said as a SCU member. That's so beautiful. Man, I feel this in the depths of my soul, man. man. How, this how is really blessed, touching How blessed me. are we to just... What a dizzy straighter We would be this fortunate is. to be there. Absolutely, oh, man. man. Absolutely. Just, just glorious. Oh. So much better than this garbage, right? This is the worst town I've ever been in. What's this place called? Don Callis, England? Don Caster. Oh, no, Don Callis is great. Don Caster Don Callis is, great. is not great. You know, everyone romanticizes London. Oh, London's so great. But you know what? London sucks. London is the birthplace of suck. The last thing that was cool that happened in Scotland is when Mel Gibson cut that promo on that horse and convinced all those jobbers and fired them up to fight the English. And when was that? You know! And why does a siren go off every five minutes? Criminals. I hate this place, man. Right there, I see you! I see you! I see you! Number 2. His wrestling past. As we've already mentioned, Sky has worked with many different companies over the last two decades. I won't mention them all, but here are some. TNA, Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Guerrilla, New Japan Pro Wrestling and the list goes on and on. Speaking of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Sky didn't have only pro wrestler duties there. He has been working with NJPW Los Angeles Dojo as a coach, alongside Katsuuri Shibata. He has stated that they have a Batman slash Robin dynamic, meaning Shibata is the head coach. Another fun fact about Scorpio's wrestling past is that he wore a mask at the start of his career. The school he was in was Lucha Libre based and that influenced his decision. He stopped wearing masks, after his colleagues convinced him that he has a good looking face and that he doesn't need it. That makes me wonder how handsome, or not, luchadors are. Maybe they have a reason to be hiding under a mask. Just kidding. I'm a massive Lucha Libre fan. Let's move on to Number 1. Steve Harvey and Will Smith Let's finish it off with some humor. Scorpio was once a contestant on a Steve Harvey show. Steve has made some blunders in his career and here's another one. He accidentally eliminated Sky instead of another guy in a dating type of segment, where a girl would pick a guy, based on some questions if I remember correctly. And what about Will Smith? During an interview, Sky was asked to pick one band or singer to hang out. And he chose Smith. Not the first guy that comes to mind, since he's mainly an actor, but Sky believes they would have so much fun together, due to their similar goofy personalities. I guess they would, as long as Scorpio kept his wife's name out of his mouth. But then again, Scorpio is an MMA guy, so Smith would just laugh it off. 